all right, YouTube. So your boy been out here troubleshooting. Now I did my little test to see if it was getting sparked. It's definitely getting sparked. One problem that I'm running into right now is that when I'm trying to crank it, cause what I did, I just tried to crank it and just let it, just held it. She sounds like she want to fire up, but the battery is dead. And on a Holly handheld, when I'm cranking it, it'll show that it got like 11.5, 11.6 volts. And when I'm trying to crank it, it dropped down to like nine volts. It don't got to the point now where it's dropping down to like seven volts. So I got the battery charging. Another thing, I went in my order history because someone told me, I forgot bro name, but he hit me up and let me know that he had a faulty cranks, a faulty crankshaft sensor. So a faulty crank sensor. And I believe I got the wrong crank sensor. Not sure, but I'm gonna order the other one. I think it's a difference between Gen 3 and Gen 4 crank sensors i think the gen 4 is for the 50, 58 tooth and the drink gen 3 is for the 24 tooth and this is definitely a 24 tooth reluctant wheel on that crank so i'm gonna order that and i'm gonna let this battery charge all night hopefully i can get back over hopefully can, i can order it and it'll be here tomorrow the ones the auto's on expensive as hell i'm gonna go ahead and order it off amazon but yeah, I got the battery charging. So I'm gonna let her charge all night. Yeah, right now it's just getting up to 11.9. I know if I let it charge all night, I can get this thing to hold about 12.9, right at 13 volts. So I'm trying to get her to 13 volts. That's a little cold air intake thing. I got all brake lights in there. I just been out here messing around while it's charging. But I'm about to go ahead to the crib and we'll get back on it when I come back I'm just troubleshooting I know everybody was telling me to um to make sure the engine to turn by hand but I had like literally before I started this process I had just primed the engine so the engine turned by hand with no issue it just got a look it got a little resistance because of the compression by the spark plugs being in the but if I had to, I might take all the spark plugs out and turn the engine by hand. I got my radiator hoses squared away, got them hooked up. Got my belt on. I wanna go ahead and get it fired up so I can put my fenders on and start cleaning up my wires. Put my fender wells on and start cleaning up my wires. But until I get this baby to fire, I ain't gonna really clean up no wires and mess with nothing else. I'm really just putting all my focus on troubleshooting this to see why she's not starting right now. But that's where I'm at, man. I just wanted to cut the camera on and let y'all know what's going on. But we're gonna get this baby fired up. But bro said he had a faulty crank sensor and I'm thinking I got the wrong crank sensor. There's a difference. They, I think the um, 58 tooth supposed to be gray. The 24 tooth supposed to be black. The one I got is black, but the part number matches the gray one. So I'm gonna go ahead and order the other one. Hopefully that'll work. Slap that on, that'll work. Uh, I made me some extra grounds. I got a ground coming from the block to the frame over here. A ground from the block to the frame over there. A ground from the block in the back up top by the camshaft sensor going to the frame. I already got two nice size grounds coming from the firewall to each cylinder head so yeah i think all my grounds and everything are good and i am getting oil pressure at first i was thinking i won't get in no oil pressure but when i just sat there and let it just keep keep cranking and cranking and cranking it don't start but it'll crank and crank and crank the oil pressure shot up to about 60 psi on the dashboard and on the holly terminator handheld so got oil pressure right now I'm just troubleshooting myself away I gotta go home get ready for work tonight but I'll try to get back over here in the morning but I know for a show this weekend I'll be over here all day I ain't never I ain't get to do nothing last weekend it was family time but this weekend coming up I will be over here all day both days until this baby fire up 
But yeah, I ain't gonna do too much talking, man. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut y'all back on. When I get back over here, we making some progress. Let get it. You too, what's good? And we back over here with summer rain. It's time to do some troubleshooting. Go ahead and get this baby started. Now, I came over here and test the spark. I can see he's getting sparked, but I even got me a spark tester. So we're gonna do that. See, I got my cold air intake up there. Just put that on. Now I'm about to get down here and swap out the crankshaft sensor. So one thing I found out is that I, the crankshaft sensor that I got, I believe it's for a Gen 4 with a 58 tooth reluctant wheel. And what I got is a 24 tooth reluctant wheel Gen 3. So yeah, man, I'm about to get down here, take the starter down, snatch the crankshaft, sensor out that little leak that i got going on down there with the oil i'm gonna go ahead and um snatch that off because what i think i messed up it i don't think i got the um, teflon tape around the threads good so i'm gonna redo that put it back up there because the last time i was over here i was trying to start it up i just I, just, I was just cranking it and cranking it and cranking it and it finally did build up some oil pressure so that's a good sign so i know i'm getting oil pressure and i know i got spark but we're gonna do all that on this video we're gonna go through the little troubleshooting steps on um, the battery was dead too so i got the battery charged up she's sitting straight on 13 volts right now so that's good so what i'm about to do go ahead and get down here and get this start out of the way get that crankshaft sensor swapped out fix the little oil leak and then we'll get back to hooking the battery up and try to fire this baby up again let's get it all right youtube now i don't got everything tidied up i got the new crank sensor put on i fixed that oil leak down here that was coming off of that um that adapter block for the oil pressure sensor for the dakota digital dash well, yeah, I got that oil leak settled. I had put some on um, cooling in here the other day, but I didn't tighten the fittings, the thing, the clamps on that up. So that was leaking. Got that tight. So no more little leaks. All that's settled. Now all I have to do is hook the battery back up and try to fire this baby up. So I had left the battery on charge over the weekend. Well, I think I came over here like, was it Monday or something? Yeah, she's sitting on 13. She's sitting right on 13. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to hook the battery back up. It don't got dark on it, but I think I'm about to go ahead and try to fire it up, see what we got, man. Let me get this battery hooked back up, and I'll cut y'all back on. Let's get it. All right, got the battery hooked back up. Now let's check it out. Not sure if I'm gonna have to do the setup wizard on the Dakota again. Oh yeah, look at the lights even brighter in here. Let's see. I made the setup wizard on the Holly Terminator. I'm talking about the Dakota. What the vault's dropping to now? And this light is shining. See, that's that damn starter. Well, she sound like she want to fire, though, dog. Oh, yeah, she about to fire up. Y'all better stop playing with summer rain, dog. She about to fire up, boy. Oh, she about to fire up. It look good. <laughs> Come on, baby. See that oil pressure up there rising? 
The light off on the phone. Yeah, good. See the oil pressure go up? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Damn. And then you see how the lights go black like that? I'm wondering, dude. Now, I tested that spot where I got the key on and this is switch. Oh, my damn phone. All right, YouTube. I was using my phone, but she died. And y'all know the GoPro ain't that good at night. She she be struggling at night. But, yo, this baby trying to fire up, dog. I think it was that crank sensor. Let me see. Dang, go back. This is the one I was on. But, yeah, dog, when I'm trying to crank it, you can see the oil pressure building up on the dash. The voters ain't dropping too much. Yo, she trying to fire up. But I want to put this, I'm going to put this GoPro under the car so I can see what's going on with that, um... With that starter, making some funny noise. And I think I was seeing like a little backfire too coming from down here. So let's see what we got. Yeah, I can see the starter. All right. Might have to put it closer to the starter. Maybe want to fall up though, YouTube. Lights on the Holly screen. I mean, on the Holly computer. I don't Smoke coming from why? So yeah, she getting oil pressure. As you can see, she's going down now. Dang! Come on, baby, follow up. Got a power piece Yo, it's gotta be something simple, dog. She building oil pressure. Oh, it's gotta be something simple. She definitely getting spark. I got the GoPro down there to see if anything look fishy. So far, so good. Ooh, that camera screen. Dang. She want to fire up, though. I can hear why she want to do it. She look out of power. She got a power door. Kill the dang better. Like I said, it's a couple red lights on the computer. I gotta see what that's about. Fuel flow twenty three point nine. Shot 
got a light flickering. I'm thinking I got something hooked up wrong, dog. Smell like I'm about to burn this damn starter up. See some oil coming from silver. Well, that starter hot as hell. And it's some kind of oil or something on it. Where the hell is it coming from? Is it coming out of this damn dipstick tube? I don't know. It's gonna look like it was backfire. You see a little flame coming out that um header. But yeah, man, we're gonna regroup tomorrow. And see what we can figure out tomorrow. She damn so sound better, so I'm thinking replacing that crank sensor was right thing to do i think i'm gonna unhook the battery again and let it sit on the charger again until tomorrow when i get back over here it'll be right back at 13 volts the baby act like she wanted to follow up uh, she building oil pressure i gotta go do some research to see what them red lights mean the lights turn red on that computer do some search on that, see what that's talking about. But for the most part, I think she's ready to fire up. All right, YouTube. Bro don't pull it up in that thing out there too. Y'all hear it, I, I know y'all hear it. But look. All right, we got plenty of voters on the battery. I'll let her charge all night. Man, we about to see what this baby can do, man. Yeah, bro, don't pull it up in that thing. Oh, it's go time. I need to get down there and check that starter right quick. Cause that starter was acting like she won't gonna disengage. And I gotta see what's up with that. I might need to unhook the battery back while I check that. Yeah, that's still dry right there too. Yeah, so I fixed that. Put some Teflon on that, baby. She's still dry. Oh. Yeah, look at the starter, man. What's up with that? That's the first, that's the, I'm about to unhook the battery. My first thing is to get this starter together. Okay, that ain't supposed to do that. She too close to something. It don't look like it's damaging the teeth. Teeth on the starter look kind of funny. All right, let me um, 
Let me do some research on this starter and I'll cut y'all back on because they ain't supposed to be like that. Pressure say negative one. Fear pressure say I'm, I'm thinking this is the issue. I'm I'm really thinking this is the issue. What the battery dropping to twelve? Nah, she's dropping about eight. But I'm telling you that that fucking starter not disengaging. That's what I'm thinking. That click, click, that, that clacking noise is. And then that shit, like the lights in here, dimming like here. What the fuck? Watch that damn starter still engaged. Watch. Oh. Is he still engaged? I'm about to take that shit off. I'm about to take that start off. That is one of them, the mini starters. Yeah, I'm about to take that start off. Let me unhook the battery. Lights need to go off. And then on the holly screen for the fuel pressure, the shit say low error. So I don't think it's getting enough the right fuel pressure. This one right here say fuel flow 26.9. How would you change the pressure? You got it, the regulator. Huh? Mm. Yeah, that piss on. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the all uh, the starter. Yeah, it's still engaged. It's supposed to disengage. When you let off from starting, like from cranking it, the starter's supposed to the gears that catch the flywheel are supposed to disengage. Let me unhook this battery. I ain't messing with the starter with the battery hook though. These lights delayed like here. Why they ain't going off yet? Got to figure that out too. All right, so I just went through and did the setup wizard again just to make sure I had everything right. Now, this is the initial start, the initial startup screen. See battery, 12.6 volts. Engine RPM at stall. TPS at 18%. Map at 101 CTS cooling temp, I guess, is at 69. That's about the temperature it is outside. Is the camera picking it up good. I don't know, man, but this baby is not firing up. And then, too, like, I don't know, it just seemed like 
a whole bunch of voltage is coming out as I'm trying to start it. So I'm thinking that's got something to do with it. Now right now, the lights on the thing is blue and green. One got like an orange tint. Number two got like an orange tint to it. But it's mostly like a yellow, so it's mostly green. It just seemed like that battery. I think I need to get a different type of battery too. Honestly, that might be my problem. I might need to get a different type of battery. Need some good ass batteries, but I don't know if she good for cranking. I don't know. That damn yellow top that's in my OBS right there about weak as hell. I don't left the lights on on that thing a couple of times. You trip. The interior lights. She done went to a different screen. But yeah, man, she kind of act like she want to start, yeah. I don't know. Is it showing the battery? No, it ain't showing the battery on this screen. And it still says at 12.4 volts. Let's see what it dropped to when I be trying to start it. Come on, phone, focus. It dropped to nine, eight, nine volts. See, I don't think that's gonna be enough to start this car. So I'm really thinking that's the issue for right now. Cause she's sputtering and backfiring and she's sounding like she wanna catch. So that's the only thing I can think of, man. But I've been coming over here getting little stuff done, man. Like I got my own Kodak intake stuff hooked up. Got my coolant hooked up. Got all my coolant lines. I gotta go through and clip these clamps. Make them look uniform, make them look decent. Everything hooked up to the engine. She ain't leak. I fixed that leak down there last night. Fixed that. I'm really starting to think my problem is, do I got my little jumper box? I might hook my little jumper box up to it and try it again. Let me, hold on, let me cut y'all back on this. All right, so YouTube, I was down there messing with the starter. And from the measurements and everything I find online, it looked like it's where it's supposed to be. Now, I believe the reason it's not disengaging is because the battery is not strong enough to turn it. So it's like it just get wedged in between the flywheel. I might be wrong. I don't know. But trying to start it, the battery voltage dropped down low. Real low, yo. So I don't think these batteries can crank it. Cause initially it said it got like 12 volts, 12.5 volts. But when I'm trying to crank it, it dropped down to like seven, eight volts. Like everything on this screen from the research I've been doing, this look like the way it's supposed to look as far as the numbers. When I try to crank it, that'll say sink. I keep messing up. It'll say sinking. And then it'll go back. It'll show some RPMs, sink and show some RPMs. And then as the battery gets weaker, it just show stall again. But right now, it's so 12.4 volts. The TPS is at 18. Press the gas, that move. I don't know, man. 74 on the temp. I don't know. The map at 101. The IAC is at 89%. I don't know. But I do know this battery is extremely weak. Watch when I try to start it. Like she ain't, she ain't got no power, dog. Now I don't have them batteries for a long time. 
I usually use them as a secondary for my speakers for my music and stuff. So I just figured there was some big, powerful batteries, and they you can charge them back up. And they'll hold the charge for a long time. Like the one that's sitting on this side is nothing hooked up to it, and she's still right at 12 volts. So I don't know. That's where I'm at, though, man. I'm out here just trying to figure it out right now. Other than that, man, everything look good. Everything seem to be good. No more leaks nowhere, nothing. Not smelling no fumes or no gas fumes. I know a lot of the forums I was watching was like, I've been trying to start it up a long time, so fuel will be washing down those ceiling walls, so it's going to be gas mixed with the oil. So I'm going to have to change the oil soon. I already got some more oil for it because of that little leak. So I'll probably just change the oil Get me a new battery. You don't think I'm gonna go get a yellow top? Just go ahead and get a yellow top slap back here. And I just use them two for the knock. For the sound system, because I don't think I don't think it's gonna work. But I know right here on the battery. They say max amps is six thousand. CA, so I'm guessing this cranking amps is at 1700. I don't know, man. I don't really speak that battery talk like that, so I'm about to get online and do some research. See exactly what these are good for. But right now, this baby is not firing up, and I honestly feel like if the volt if the voltage ain't dropping down so low. I feel like it'll turn that starter good enough to be able to fire this baby up. Might be wrong, maybe not. But it's drawing a lot of voltage as I'm trying to start it, it's dropping it down low. I don't know if I got something wired up wrong or what, but everything on the handheld looks good. Yesterday I was over here it was cranking up a little better. It was cranking better. You would even get to the point where you see the oil pressure building up and everything. I got some footage of that. It'll be before this, but yeah, man. So I don't know why. Why I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, man. I'm going to get online, do some more research. Not sure if I'm going to call it a day right now. I got a yellow top in the Avi too. And I just got my lady car back together. I might go grab that battery out the Avi. Yeah, I'm gonna cut y'all back on when I figure something out. Another thing I noticed too, number five light and number eight light is off. Six and seven are blue, but five and eight are off. Do some research on these lights. YouTube. I ain't made no. I figured out why the dash light stayed on. That's the twilight jump. It's supposed to be a little sensor up there. So we ain't know when the sunlight out. But I got that off. So the lights, that's why the tail lights and everything stay on as soon as I turn the key. But I don't know, did something and then my interior lights ain't coming on. That's weird. Do not ask me what I did. I can't tell you. But I figured that out. This the only interior light that's on. Damn, then she just went out. Maybe the bulbs are blown. Not sure. Let's see. Oh, no, nah, that ain't going out when I hit the door button. I don't know what the hell I did that quick. I cut y'all back on. I'm making some more progress. I just wanted to say something about them lights. So what I did was I just took all the spark plugs out. I went home. Let me start over. Went home, got the battery jumper, and I got the battery out the Avi. It's doing the same thing. I mean, it just sounds like the starter's struggling. So I'm like, man, let me take all these spark plugs out. Boom, boom. And make sure that the engine can turn easily by hand and the engine turns with no problem. Rotate with no issue. 
She ain't making no funny sounds. None of that. So, now I'm back to square one. I don't know what the hell wrong with it. <laughs> I don't know, YouTube. I'm at a dead end, dog. I'm about, I'm about sure that I don't fry this starter trying to start this thing. That's where I'm at with it. So, yeah, man, I'm going to keep troubleshooting, trying shit, and put my spark plugs and everything back in, get my belt back on, and we'll go from there. But I'm going to be honest, I ain't, shit, I'm confused. I don't know what my next plan of attack going to be. All the spark plugs getting a little black stuff on them, so the baby's getting some fire. They definitely getting some fire, so I just don't know what's going on. I'm about ready to find me an expert. It, it, it sounds like that starter is having trouble turning the engine over. That's what it sound like. But yesterday when I was out here, I kept trying to crank it, crank it, crank it. So it sounded like it was going to start. I got some footage of it too. She was doing a little back firing and everything. But it never started. And then that starter started doing this. It's, it's not disengaging from the flex plate. Maybe I got the wrong flex plate. Not sure. Not sure, but... Man, I don't if it ever crank, it, it, it better disconnect. <laughs> it, it, I don't see. I watch the videos, and there's it's supposed to still spin too, but you just hear it. You hear the connection of the starter and the flex plate. Yeah, but I'm feeling like I don't know. I'm feeling like that starter giving some resistance or something. So if it won't turn the engine over now, you ain't even got the transmission on it. It sure not gonna have trouble if you had the transmission on. All it really supposed to take is that first initial cranking and boom. Once you get fired and everything, it's supposed to catch. Oh, bro, shared the picture on uh, out there. I met a subscriber today out there on uh, at the car meet at the cars and coffee. Bro took a picture with me and everything. Cool guy. Say he watch all the videos. Yeah, I'm about to start hitting all them cars and coffee, so that thing is lit. Yes, sir. But yeah, man. Oh, yeah, she did get the cap up there. It's go time, man. I think. I guess it's go time. I don't know. Shit. Back to the drawing board. Put all my spark plugs and everything back in, and I cut y'all back on. editing this video and I noticed I ain't do like no closing it closing it out or nothing so it's a couple of days later it's a couple of days later I'm still at a dead end I don't know what going on with the engine one thing I do know is that that starter and that flex plate situation I know I need to get that squared away for anything So I gotta figure that out. I either got the wrong flex plate, I don't try shimming the starter, maybe I ain't shimming it right, it's still doing the same thing. I don't know, so I gotta get that figured out. First thing first, I gotta get that figured out. Because if you notice a few times in this video, she had like she wanted to fire up. I mean, she was close. Everything on a Holly handheld look, the way it's supposed to look, other than the fuel, I still gotta do some more research on the fuel stuff. I know in order for it to show the fuel pressure, I have to get a, a fuel pressure transducer or sensor, I guess. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and order that up. I like to see that on the handheld. I do, I also wanna redo my fuel system the way I got it ran. Cause right now I got it ran through the Corvette style fuel filter and regulator. And I'm not sure if that's holding up, but I want to get one of the external regulators that I can sit right up under the hood and I'll be able to see everything from right there. So I'm going to start with the starter and the flex plate. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my research on that now. I'm going to start with that. 
I was catching a lot of grief from that. Like that was that was frustrating. Cause a couple of times it seemed like she wanted to start up, and I and I think I fried that starter. That thing was hot. I had touched it. She was hot, and it's giving off a smell. I might have fried that starter, so not sure yet. Maybe it's a way to get it tested. Might have to send it back to the manufacturer or whatever. But the starter and the flex plate is where I'm gonna start at. Cause the flex plate that I got, it got that little spacer thing on it. And I might need to have a flex plate without that spacer thing on it. Because it got a nice gap. So before the starter even engaged to the flex plate, it's a nice gap in it. And from the research I've been doing on YouTube, it said the gap's supposed to be like three millimeters. It's supposed to be able to stick a piece of welding wire through there. And then that, that's like perfect size for the gap. The gap is way bigger than that. It's about, it's about double, it's probably about five millimeters. It's, it's a nice gap, so even when I shim it, you feel me? So, I don't know, and then I think I don't fry it. So I'm gonna start there. Get everything right with that starter and that flex plate. Make sure I got all the right stuff. I don't caught myself ordering Gen 4 stuff for a Gen 3 engine. So I just got to make sure I'm ordering all the right stuff, man. I'm going to start there. But I'm still chasing this rabbit down the hole. But I swear to God, I do not know what's going on. Technically, it should fire right up. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know what the fuel pressure is, so I don't know what that is. That's another reason why I want to get that regulator. But yeah, it had like a little, a little gauge on there. I don't know what the fuel pressure is. It's not showing on the hand here because you gotta have the, the transducer or the, the sensor, basically. So yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video while I just came out here to record this. Y'all like, share, comment, chime in. Y'all let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? I take all comments. I read all comments. I might not reply to all of them. I try to reply as best as I can, but I do read all comments and I appreciate all the help you guys be giving. I got three videos that I'm working on right now, so I'm not gonna go work on Summer Rain today. I will be over there first thing tomorrow once I drop the kids off at school and daycare. Boom, school and daycare. Now my oldest girl, she been in school. She's six years old, but I got two little ones, three and one. We just now getting them a daycare two days. It's been, a, it's been hard to find a daycare that will accept both of them. So with me and my lady's schedule, we basically one stay home with the kids while the other go to work. So as soon as she come home from work, I go to work, vice versa, you feel me? So that's the reason why the content being slowed up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't being over there to, to really wrench on Summer Rain and really focus on getting her running. But we got that squared away two days, so today, it's officially my first day free where I can do something, but it's about to be a lot of content coming. I mean, a lot. A while back, I had did a video of my own um, storage unit. And somebody was like, damn, like a hoarder. And motherfucker do look like I be hoarding. But I'm gonna be honest, my storage unit is full of content. Everything I got loaded up in there is stuff that I had been supposed to done a long time ago, but it's just with our schedules the way they were, it was hard to get any work done, but starting today, y'all about to get an overload of content. I'm about to go crazy, cause it's time to get all the cars running the way I need them to run. Got old lady Max, the Max running sweet. Got her back on the road. The Avi, y'all know I did a video on the Avi not too long ago, but I did an oil change on the Avi. She still ain't driving right, man. The transmission making some type of little noise when you throw it in drive. She drive good, but the vibration, the real heavy vibration back. The check engine light just came back on last night and the transmission making some type of noise. So that's why I went ahead and got her car all the way together because we're probably gonna park the Abbey for a while just so I can focus on getting the other cars together because the match right. I'm about to get the charger back right. Ain't nothing wrong with the charger other than me having to do the interior, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta put carpet in here, then I put all the interior back in the charger, she back on the road. Simple fix, you feel me? Simple fix. I even got some, I got a lot of parts in the storage, the full interior in the storage, other than the driver's seat. 
I got rims for the charger and the storage. Like, yo, overload the content about to come, dog. Overload the content about to come. So y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, stay tuned in. Cause I'm definitely about to be back on my sh definitely about to get on this grind, dog. So probably for the next two weeks, y'all might be getting daily vlog vibes just because I'm about to go crazy. I gotta get myself caught up. So I'm gonna bring y'all along for the little journey of me getting caught up, getting everything up to par. And when it come to Ruby, when it come to the short bed over there, Ruby, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and be honest with y'all. The Avi, she getting sacrificed. That 5.3 and that transmission coming out of the Avi, she going right in Ruby. So once I get Summer Rain squared away, the Abby getting broke down, so I'll probably bust her down, take the transmission script to a transmission shop. Cause it's making some kind of noise. Just go ahead and get the transmission squared away. I ain't gonna do a real in-depth build like I did on Summer Rain with that engine. Engine running good, good running engine. But I just probably, you know, head gaskets, all the seals, change everything. Might throw a cam in her, cam and spring kick. Nothing major. Nothing major, but man, y'all stay tuned, man. I got a lot coming. I'm just trying to give y'all a little rundown of what's about to go down. But right now, I'm editing three videos. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this one today. Today, Monday. This one will probably drop tonight. I'm going to have another one coming tomorrow and another one Wednesday. And I'll also be recording footage all week. So just be on the lookout, man. Lots of video coming. Y'all going to get a lot of videos on Summer Rain because as I'm troubleshooting it, as I'm trying to figure stuff out, I like to get feedback from y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and be dropping them videos. But at first, I really want to have a chance to get over there. I have a little time on Friday and a little time on Saturday, but still on those days, we try to handle what we can handle because that's our free days. Technically, where we don't have to work at all, you feel me? But I still will be doing a little work on the cars or whatnot. But yeah, man, like, share, comment, subscribe, man. It's go time. I'm gonna get it figured out. Now, I'm this close to just getting it towed to a shop, finding me a nice performance shop, a good reputable performance shop. They got some experience with LS engines and the Holly system, and I just give them a rundown of everything I did. I give them part numbers, everything, you feel me? But right now I'm at a standstill, but I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get cracking on this research, and we gonna figure it out, you feel me? But I'm gonna start with that starter and that flex plate and we gonna go from there. Cause I'm gonna be honest, like I, I was thinking that the battery wasn't gonna hold up the starting, but here yeah, the battery had it that close to starting. So once the battery started, the alternator gonna charge the battery. The battery, I don't think the battery is the issue, is what I'm getting at. I'm thinking is that I don't fry the starter and maybe the, the flex plate might be wrong. So I'm gonna do my research on that. I'm gonna get back at y'all real soon, real soon. Today, Monday, so we'll have some information about that coming soon. And I'm gonna start dropping shorts, you know what I'm saying? Shorts after shorts. The shorts on YouTube, they're a minute long. So I'm gonna try to make them interesting, but I'm gonna start dropping a lot of shorts too, just so y'all can be updated with little stuff, you feel me? But yeah, man, like, share, comment, subscribe. Appreciate everybody for tuning in, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out, peace. Hold on, before I go, look at, look at the OBS, man. Look at Ruby. Look at Ruby now. Look at Ruby, boy, that pollen is on there. Look at Ruby now. Watch the transformation on this, baby. And I ain't even talking about paint. I'm talking about just when I detail it. It's going to be a whole nother truck. Check out Ruby now. She coming. Yes, sir. I plan on putting twin turbos on her. I told y'all I want to experiment with some, some boost now. Now, this is my baby. Now, she been thugging it. Dry her all the time. I'm going to start making more footage on her, too. But like I said, I only had a day and a half to make footage. But it's go time, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Let's get it.